What's going on, guys? And welcome back to American Reacts. We're looking at best touring car race ever. Last to first. This is from AMD 87TS. This will be linked in the description down below. Make sure to check it out. I've heard a lot about Larry Perkins. Up there. He's up there on uh, the legends list for Aussie race drivers, especially uh, around Bathurst. The Mighty Battles uh, himself. This one sounds exciting. Last to first. Let's see what we got going on. I'm excited for this. Been a little bit. For Bathurst videos, excited to get back in it. Let's go. Well, there's Larry, very, very slow coming down towards the uh, the pits. There is front end damage there. You can see the wheel wobbling as he turned into pit straight. I love this era, Not by the way. for Larry. It'll take them a while, the steering rack, to get it out. And Imagine the disappointment. Winner here in night. Oh, he's got a tyre coming off as well, a deflated oh, tyre oh. on the left. It looks it's rough. very badly bent out, toe out, and uh, they're going to have to work. First of all, love the uh, Castrol livery. Uh, they usually have good liveries in any motorsport, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and again, this is 90s, so this is still old enough to be uh, these awesome era of drivers and, of course, awesome era of race cars that were, you know, semi-production cars. Like, they were definitely race cars, but sort of resembled production cars. Variety in each team. Uh, they really could make their own race car uh, really, really good. Quite a considerable amount of time to uh, get this one flying again. What a tragedy yeah, for some, Castrol Holden. Some good damage there. Well, Perkins is in, and the crew go to work. Let's go down to Andy. Yeah, thanks, Mike. As you said, an absolute tragedy. Now, what has apparently happened is there's been an altercation with Craig Lowndes, the crew was saying. Larry wasn't oh, sure whether it was a flat tire or he's bent a steering Craig rod, Lowndes. as Alan alluded to earlier. The crew was uh, yelling for a hammer. There's obviously a little bit of panel beating, as you can see, going on at the moment. They haven't done anything with the steering as yet. I guess they're hoping it was a flat tire. Perkin comes off in a blaze of smoke. Thanks, hey, mate. What he's trying he to do is hurry. get out, not go down a lap on the leaders. Oh, Where Larry okay. Perkins is, of course, he had to stop after lap one to change a deflated tire, car. put him back to 24th totally spot. Car, now man. up to 20th, and I can tell you he is lapping at exactly the same time as Jim Richards and a lot faster than some of the people in between. It's a long way, I, I know. Things can get better. Yeah, what a blow the uh, Craig Lowndes, he moved over on the line and hit my front wheel and broke the bloody tyre valve off. <laughs> so we don't need that at this stage. You could do with a yellow, couldn't you? Yeah, pace car now yeah, wouldn't hurt, would it? I'll give them a call, see if they'll bring it out for you. <laughs> Apart from that, the blown tyre, Larry, is the car OK? Oh, the car's absolutely superb. Not a problem in the world, just motoring along now. We've just got to get everything right from here on. Again, it's always a spectacle to watch these guys give interviews in the middle of a race on one of the most challenging circuits uh, in the world. Uh, the guy is wrestling the wheel. You can see the bumps going on, shake, rattling the driver and, of course, the car. Uh, you can see him with a lot of foot movement and, of course, shifting all the time. It, it's just so cool to watch. And, and the way someone talented such as uh, Mr. Perkins here just casually... <laughs> Uh, you know, making jokes, telling the guys what happened while he's in the middle. Well, you're far from out of it, mate, and if you keep so going at this pace uh, this afternoon, you'll be looking good. Yeah, the object obviously keep going. It's so far so good, and uh, I'm not letting it worry me too much that we've lost half of three quarters of that. Well, that's, oh, that, that's the champion you are, mate. Press on. Thank you. Let's put this in um, to perspective here. Being down a lap in any race is not fun, right? You're down a lap. Uh, but being down even three quarters of a lap or a full lap on Mount Panorama. That is just crazy. Uh, it's a humongous track and it's super demanding and challenging. I would think for most uh, mere mortals, it would be near impossible to make up that much ground, even if it's a long race. Uh, that is a tall order to, to claw your way back to the front of the pack. Yeah. Dramas here. Try and time Larry Perkins pit stop here, as you said, a very crucial stop. Uh, looking at being one lap behind Larry Perkins getting out of the car. Okay, Russell so Ingle yeah. getting into the car. This is uh, to spoke with the team. Obviously, part Ingle of the Bathurst 1000. We have the driver switch. Brand new Dunlop tyres. So and as Russell I said, Ingle Russell is getting, Ingle in getting into the car. Shift. 20 seconds of elapsed now. All is in readiness, so they're just tying in. Crazy, Ingle. it's right in the middle of the race. 25 Got seconds, so it's about a 28. You got to hop in on the go, and that is not an easy task. Um, getting in a race car like that and, and getting yourself situated, getting the five, six point harness, whatever it is on, making sure everything is good to go. That That's a lot, right right in the middle of the race. That sounds pretty stressful. Second pit stop, <laughs> and the number 11 Castrol car is back out into pit lane. Pretty good stop. Up. Mr. Lingle brings the Castrol Commodore in. Okay, so it's skipped ahead to uh, maybe presumably the end of uh, Russell's shift here. 
uh, Russell Engel and uh, Larry is going to go back the to the last Lambert. shot to the flag. He'll be primed and ready. I'll let Gene what a disappointment uh, for today. He's done so well. He just can't yeah, fight any kind of a handicap here quick. and Look at get that. it on the opening lap and have to fight that through all day he's long mentally. I think he's done a superb job. It's been he almost like the 1,000 kilometer contests of old, Alan, when we didn't have pace cars at all. These guys have been running absolutely flat out, except for that one little pace car. Run. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll close the door later, yeah. thanks. Don't worry about that. <laughs> right? So Larry Perkins. He just straight peeled out. Get out of my way. He's left a cloud of smoke. He's like, I got to get to work. Uh, the announcers or the commentators mentioned that there really hasn't been any cautions or any slowdowns. It's been a, a wild, rampant, just straight race. Uh, so presumably they're still far behind, and he's got a lot of ground to make up. Tightens up the belts. That's very important. Yeah, tightening the belt. This on is the time go. to absolutely go for break. You see, uh, the wipers are drinking. They're falling out of sight until they can retrace that. that. It's going to be hot, hard work for the final stint in this race. Very early. Have you ever seen a fight back like this, Michael? More than a lap down earlier on in the day, he's oh, now man. in contention for the lead. He's hung in there, bulletproof engineering, Larry Perkins. Fantastic co drive by Russell Engel. Well, you're a lap down at one stage, you're a street fighter, and if you are, you've got time to do some sparto. Yeah, I, I had a bad draw with the old uh, pace car early on, but it's worked in our favour right now, and uh, it's uh, unbelievable. We've all done our stops, and it's a race to the finish. Well, mate, you can run for the Liberal Party now with a fight back like that. We wish you luck to the flag. Thanks, Ryan. How, how right, is so that even possible? I guess the plan is... Obviously, this is a condensed video, but uh, that must be something to see. Uh, watching someone claw their way from the, you know, the bottom of the pack all the way to the front uh, on a track as big and challenging as... I'll pin around. You've got to try and go from where you are that to up alongside uh, Glenn Seaton as quickly as you can. Yeah, not wrong about that. Well, Larry, you've put in some amazing performances at Mount Panorama. If you pull this one off, you'll be the Bathurst legend of all legends. Uh, <laughs> I'm not thinking about that at this stage. I've got a, still got about, what, 29 laps to go on this. I can see one, two, three cars ahead of me. That's right. Go get focused. Good luck. Thank you. Can Alan Jones bring it home in first position? Well, I see Sick is giving this absolutely everything. See, he was confident, wasn't he? Look at it. He's opened yeah, up the gap on Brad Jones. Three or four car lengths as they come down the mountain. Great sounding. Under engines, full as green, down wow. toward Forest Elbow. Larry Perkins got the lights on. Up behind Alan Jones. There's four of them in this. Oops. I love this race Jones, game. He made a little move there. Awesome. He's anxious. He wants to go on with it. But uh, the Coke Commodores have got plenty of top end speed. Full credit to uh, Rob Nixon. Now. He's put these engines together this weekend. Over 600 horsepower. He claims from these Chevys. And haven't they got some mumbo in a straight line? Dude, he's catching him. Here comes Perkins Woo! down the outside of 35. Alan Jones. That's what he's got. There we go. Listen what a pass. Roar as Perkins <laughs> comes inside of him. Down through Caltex Chase. He's up to third position. Down Perkins Conrad into the chase here. Holy smokes. Chase. He's got to catch the Colt car now. Boy, has he made this a race and a half. Shades of 93. <laughs> I didn't think that unreal. car was damaged so earlier unreal, in, in, in the whole nine yards. Gets a few what meters the hell? under brakes and they swing back onto pit straight. Closing right up on the number four coke car. Well, if you wonder why Seaton's taken off, he knows enough about Larry's engineering prowess. Well, Larry Listen has to had the crowd. A... The majority are Holden fans here. <laughs> and Larry. they're willing him on as he comes through this turn. He's got mountain straight and he comes up on the tail of Brad Jones. Larry has had an enormous amount of car speed in this car. There's the coke team Look watching the coke team. They pretty can see worried. Taking they look pretty time worried. Out of Brad Jones up ahead of him. Perkins disappears over the hump. Then it's Jones. Then it's Perkins. Then it's Jones. Alan Jones. Look at the field. We take Castrol Oil's race camp from the front spoiler of the Castrol Holden. Oh, Back down he is. Oh, very, very close. Oh, my God. He's right on it. Look at that. <laughs> Look out, Brad Jones. I'm coming through. Larry has an enormous amount of speed at this late stage of the day. He is flying. Yes, he got sucked in on there. Here he comes. Oh, damn. Down. He is pressing him. Yeah. than that. See the oil stains at the back of the Commodore struggling. Everything in this race is tired. The tires are tired. The drivers are tired. Yeah, that car is dirty. The Coke one. Getting a good run here. At the city at like the he said, setup. everyone's tired. The cars are tired. The drivers are tired. It's a damn crazy endurance the race, man. Put up and Larry here, Perkins is going like a freaking lap one. Combat. Listen to the crowd oh, across oh. the mountains. Larry Perkins brings this race along. Holy smokes, man. I love, oh, I love the panorama. Clicks, I love this. Work. The next left hand, he might give that a try on the exit. Chilling stuff. Bradley under enormous pressure here. Larry Perkins really applying the thumb screws. Jones gets out of that corner reasonably quick. Larry filling come up on, the mirrors. Come on, dude. On the coke number four. Which oh, way is he going to go down? Inside. Inside. Inside here, Brad Jones. That's aggressive. One more! 
Holy There's shit, he did, he did it. Second spot, 20. He didn't, he didn't second, slip, he didn't drive. overshoot it. Can you believe this? More than a lap down. Larry Perkins in second position. He's only got one car ahead of him. Again, we're heading for a classic Ford Holden battle oh here. Oh my God. 40 laps completed. 14.99 from Larry, a 15.1. So it's just two tenths, of, oh, less than that. 19. Less than two tenths of a second. Yep. 19 laps to settle into it. Look at Russell Engel up there in the window box, Alan. Hand over his face. He cannot believe it. First time yeah. with Larry Perkins at Bathurst, and he's staring right down the barrel of his first Bathurst win. How would you feel? <laughs> the exit now to Forest Elbow to work Conrod straight. And a problem here for Glenn okay, Seaton. He's come out of the corner, and the engine is off song, and the oh. number 30, Peter Jackson, yeah, that Falcon. Bad, and huh? just look how quickly Larry Perkins is gaining. What wretched luck here for Seaton. He's had this one absolutely locked up, and Perkins is all over Look him. Look at Perkins coming like a bad habit. You saw that? Oh, In he was Caltex coming like a chase, monster It's only him. a matter of time as Seaton steers out of the Speeding turn. Speeding up real fast. Perkins works to the outside. There's nothing Seaton can do about yeah, it. Yeah, nothing Holden he can fans do. fans have gone absolutely berserk. Perkins the and, and that coming are both and here just is Larry running on all the outside, cylinders. Going through to take the lead. <laughs> My God, what an animal, man. What a beast. <laughs> Look at Bo. Bo is Barry absolutely Seaton. shattered. Glenn's father, winner here in 1965. Wow. Glenn, a shake of the head as he backs the car off the circuit. Barry Seaton in tears there. The great dream has evaporated in the space of a few seconds. Glenn Seaton in the car. We're just trying to establish that he can uh, hear us. Glenn. Commiserations, mate. Yeah, Alan pretty disappointing you just can't believe it but people around the world have said bell springs are the toughest item in any engine you don't have to feel badly about it mate it wow, is the toughest troubles. thing to win Trouble this force. race <laughs> yeah, no commiserations wrong. to your but dad hey, i know a, how hard you work race. i'm not surprised yeah we've gone so close today uh, just can't believe it troubles like. in a lot of cars when did you have the first indication glenn something was wrong just bang just like that wasn't it? well it was about five laps ago it started to come in and i just thought it was going to be okay but got worse that's life glenn that's life. there is a two is 1000 waiting for you i guarantee you just got to keep hanging in there it must no, be this is just heartbreaking i tell you absolutely because you've got a team of guys there that have really slaved for 12 months to try and achieve this absolutely and like to come this close is... yeah oh. that's tough it's just words can't explain that's tough for seating really i mean yeah can't. well mate you don't, lead for you don't lose a race like this being that well, close Thanks, and then losing Thank to a mechanical failure. That That's is a tragedy. I mean, you can, that you can, is, uh, you can gather there just the emotion the that, uh, that has got a grip on uh, Glenn Seaton having come oh, so wow, close Larry to victory in this event. What a master. Gary, you're good with words. Uh, could Hollywood have scripted a finish like this? <laughs> Absolutely no. not. Are we, no. we going to run a campaign now, that, that, Larry, for Prime Minister? That, well, that would be a, win, a stretch for a we Hollywood like uh, this. Larry Perkins I mean, is trailing him for the great comeback from 29th crazy. position to a situation where he looked like he had the a track. chance to win the race. Like then we said, no, hang on. Seaton's done it. Seaton's got it. He's strong. He's going to hold on and win. And then, unbelievably, <laughs> we've got like this Jack, problem. Little and Jack Perkins, he's in tears. The last lap board is being ready for Larry Perkins. Here we go. And they will cheer themselves hoarse for the last two minutes and 15.5 seconds around this circuit for Larry Perkins. Here they go. Won't be happy until he gets up on top of the hill. Last Gary lap, Larry. Still got a car behind him, and uh, if anything was to go wrong, Straight here, straight what a beautiful machine. Still be in trouble. Yeah, yeah, and he's those with their fingers crossed. Larry Larry's finishing wow. record in this V8 formula is quite extraordinary. Won the race here in 1993. Ran with a bulletproof run last year to third position. Now he's done a faultless run once again. So Larry has proved on numerous occasions he can build a bulletproof car. Perkins, the leader from Alan Jones. Wayne Gardner from Coke still in third spot. Jeez. Then comes uh, Stephen Richards in the surviving Winfield car followed by Brad Jones in the second of the Coke entries, then Stephen Johnson in car number 18 for Shell FAI. They are the top six as we get uh, through to the midway stages of this final lap of the Two is 1000. What an everyone's effort has just listened again to the crowd crazy. as Larry Perkins comes around here on the top of the Oh, you can hear the crowd over the engine. <laughs> What's that tell you, man? Wow. What I would give to be in a time capsule and watch this live at the track in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. What a spectacle. Uh, there's no uh, 
prizes for Jeez, getting one stuff for the bottom of this engine. What a race and what a big race is going to be really for Larry Perkins and for Russell Engel. Charts. This is just an incredible performance, as we've said it's several really times incredible. in the last few minutes. A last I'm to first impressed. performance for Larry Perkins. And as he comes into out of tyre power turn at Forest Elbow, Larry Perkins behind the wheel and co-driver Russell Engel is in the pits. Russell Engel too. Congrats, right? He, he did his own, but he's, he can't believe that. Hey, thank you, Larry. Thanks for, uh, thanks for putting me in it, mate. I'll tell you what, when you get back there, I'm going to give you the biggest kiss. <laughs> I prefer to get it from your girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I thought you would. Uh, you have to put up with me, mate. Hey, just thank you. That was awesome. No, what an awesome line. <laughs> While well, I'm still going around in the car, I'm going, oh, thank you, Larry. I've seen folks at work. They're just doing some stuff. And the pressure of looking after the... Last quarter, baby, yeah. I'm just very thankful to those folks. Larry Perkins, Larry Perkins and Russell Engel, the great race winners, the Two E's 1000 for 1995. Wow. Well, that is wow. just a phenomenal <laughs> effort. <laughs> Larry, could you ever have believed six and a half hours ago you'd be taking the winner's checkered flag? Don't get him. I would say no, but look at the uh, yeah six five six hours ago they were of probably just Engel, open the first time finished. here and the partnership with Larry Perkins has scored himself a win. <laughs> Jones second place. That was incredible! Oh my God, as it always is, so much history. You can't write this moments right, like just unbelievable moments at uh, Bathurst and Mount Panorama. Wow, that was from AMD eight seven. TS, make sure to check that out in the description to watch it uninterrupted. Seriously, much love uh, from the USA for Australian motorsport. It's it's incredible. It, it literally uh, gets me riled up. It gets the adrenaline flowing. It's so fun to watch. And uh, just everything, man. I, I love everything about it. The cars, the drivers, the legends, the commentators, the fans, the track itself, the scenery, uh, the sounds of the beautiful V8s. It, it's just amazing. I think it's no secret that, that I liked that. I really hope you enjoy it as well. So if you did, please leave a thumbs up on there and boost the video. I do appreciate it. <laughs> Subscribe for more stuff like this. Check out my Bathurst playlist for a lot more videos like this. Uh, it's been a while, but I am super stoked uh, to get back into it with a video like this. Wow, guys. Check out that description for this original video and other ways you can support my channel. My name is Ian. You're watching 9W Rocker. Until next time, guys. Woo! Catch you later.